Hey guys, Indy here. Um, I am guessing you've all heard the news. Uh, if you haven't, recently Chester Bennington, lead singer of Linkin Park, was found dead. Uh, I don't know how many of you who watch me are fans of Linkin Park, but I have been a fan of Linkin Park for a very long time. Uh, I've been a fan of Linkin Park for probably... Probably since their Meteora album. Yeah, I'm not one of the uh, original Hybrid Theory fans, but whatever, we're not paying attention to that right now. I've been a fan of them since Meteora, and after hearing Meteora, I immediately got their Hybrid Theory album when I heard that, they, that that was one. And I, I loved it. I have loved all of their songs. Um, and then they just kept, kept releasing amazing album, amazing album, and... Then they came out with one album called Living Things, and that album is by far one of my favorite. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Basically, I have loved Linkin Park for a very long time, and to know that Chester Bennington, at four, age 41, is now gone, that's just so hard to think about. Um, apparently, it was he, he committed suicide because of depression and... Um, addictions and stuff like that and all I can think is anyone out there who has depression don't be afraid to talk to somebody don't be afraid to just talk about what you're going through talk about what's wrong talk about your depression talk about anything don't be afraid or embarrassed to talk about your problems talk to your friend talk to your brother talk to your sister talk to your parents get your parents to Take you to a psychiatrist and talk to them. Talk to, I don't know, talk to a pastor. Talk to a doctor. Talk to anybody. Talk to some, tell somebody. Tell somebody what's wrong. If you're going through a depression or call one of the many, many suicide hotlines that they have on online. In fact, I'll leave a few in the description. Some suicide hotline numbers. Call them. Talk to them. You shouldn't suffer. And to know that Chester Bennington was stuff like, just like, you know, he, he never, like recently with Boy in the Band's video, he was, he met Mike Shinoda and Chester Bennington and you wouldn't even see it in him that he was suffering through any kind of depression, but apparently he was for him to go and kill himself. But Linkin Park, I, I think I speak for a lot of people when I say Linkin Park influenced a lot of my childhood. And I can I can assume that, that it's the same for a lot of people. So, to know that he's gone is heartbreaking, to say the least. Um, it's something you just don't expect. He was 41. He wasn't even half th halfway through his life yet. He was 10 years away from be from halfway through his life. He still had so much in him. And with his most recent album, I do admit I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I liked some of the songs on it. I wasn't going to buy it, but now out of respect, I'm going to. I mean, some of the songs on it were decent. I didn't watch the new music video yet, but I want to. I re It'll be hard knowing he's gone now, but um, my condolences definitely go out to... Chester's friends, his family, everyone else around him. I've had friends commit suicide, and it is definitely not easy. I don't really, I don't really know what to say. Um, <laughs> today sucks. That's all I can say. First George Romero, and now Chester Bennington. Who else? 2017. It's turning out to be 2016. Anyway. I just thought I, w I, I wanted to say something, uh, being a longtime Linkin Park fan, uh, I, I really wanted to say something. Like, I, I've never really bought any of their merch, but I own all their albums. I'm pretty sure I own, like, duplicates of Hybrid Theory by accident, but whatever. Um, this wasn't a video trying to say, hey, I'm a giant fan. This wasn't me trying to say that. I was just trying to say how much Linkin Park has been around in my life. I wanted to show how much they've affected me because Linkin Park for the longest time was one of the few bands I listened to. I listened to them, Three Days Grace, Red, and probably Rise Against. 
and Disturbed, of course. Those were the few bands, main bands that I listened to, and Linkin Park was probably the most listened to one, so... I don't know... I don't know what Linkin Park has planned, if they're going to keep making music, or if they're going to quit. Um, only the future will tell. So, yeah. That's all I have to say. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Go listen to some Linkin Park. Go listen to your favorite Linkin Park songs. Go listen to some songs that you may not know by them. Chester Bennington, you are a legend. You always will be a legend. We love you. We loved the music you gave us, and your music will definitely live on forever. Rest in peace, Chester Bennington.